shorter at the front through here. We've got a lot of fullness through that back and then all of that texture that's all built in through there. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for being here. Today we're going to be working on this mannequin here and we're going to be, we're going to be creating the quickest and easiest way for you guys to understand how to cut a shorter wolf cut. The wolf cut is going off on my channel, so I thought I'd bring you another version. Uh, this is going to be something that I'm going to take away for like an educational thing. But we're going to be working with the, the green peppermint root, and it's just sort of faded out into this blondy sort of colour. But on there, just to be a little bit of transition in there. So I'm going to get it wet down, going to get it sectioned, and then we'll get it cut. Central parting is what we're going to be working with. And then when it comes to the side, we're going to work with the high point of the head, like that. We're going to find there, we're going to draw a section down through there. We're then going to draw that down there. And then again with the back, we're just going to follow that middle part in all the way down, middle back. Now what I want us to do is I want us to find the curvature of the head. Which is the parietal ridge. So what we're going to do there is we're just going to find where that comb or the head curves away from the comb, which is through there. Let me just double check that again. Perfect. And this, the reason for this, it just gives us these nice little quadrants just to section out because we're going to be popping some more sectioning through here. But then we're just going to follow through through there and just carry it on around where that head curves away from the comb which is the parietal ridge so again we've just curved that around to mimic that side and then we've got our section here which is the curvature of the head and the way we check that is by putting our comb there and just seeing that it curves away and then what we're going to do where we've got that high point, we're just going to split that straight down the middle. And all we're doing is, is just sectioning off our quadrants and we're just creating eight sections on top of the head. And this will just give us the ability to manipulate it so much so it's basically going to be like a pizza with these sections on top little slices of pizza and last section through this back area because the thing is with the wolf cuts we want there to be a lot of weight on top we want it to be quite textured underneath and this is what this gives us the ability to do. It's opened up all the all of that underneath area for us to start with the wolf cut, sort of the length. And then we can really sort of start to create something on this top. So that is our section. Let's just pop that head forward so you can see. Let's jump to this one actually. So that's how it looks like that horseshoe section on the top following the curvature of the head. We're going to start from this back section through here, central parting. We want to create a bit of a taper through the bottom. I'm going to be cutting progressively through there. And this is going to create a bit of scaffolding underneath with these shorter layers through there and then with the length we're going to take that off after but it's going to build up the shape so again we're going to work around the head traveling guide till we get to the ears Now we're going to continue to do exactly the same on the other side. A 
the last section here, just behind the ear. Bring in our guide. That is all that back section done. So you can see, there's a lot of texture built into there. Now, when it comes to the sides, I'm gonna grab our last section through there. I'm gonna to cut to that as we did through there, but we're just gonna be over directing to our previous previous guide. So then this will come back to there. Slightly elevating. So it's not a moving guide anymore. Our next section moves back to where we just cut from. So this will just maintain a little bit more length around the front. If we were doing more of a mullet, then we would just use a moving guide because we would be wanting to lose as much length around that front as possible. And then we just pull that section back to there. Elevate. Through there. And that puts sh those shorter layers in through there. Now again, on this side. Now we're going to move up onto this top section. So we're going to start on these back little slices. And then what we're going to do, we want to bring it up to the ceiling. We do want there to be some connection. So we're going to take a slither from the underneath layer. And we want to be, we want to be cutting from our guide. So where we are. Now I can see my guide there. Just at my fingers there. And we're cutting that off there, just nice and blunt. And that will sit nice and heavy over that underneath piece. And all we're going to do is work ourselves around. So we're going to pick this up. We're going to pick up a slither from underneath. And it's as if we're sort of pulling straight out from the head. 45 degree sort of angle that we're looking at. But it's basically just coming straight out from the head. And that sits there like that, nice and heavy. When we come to the sides, so this one just sitting just behind the ear. Again, just straight out from the head. So you can see there, we're going to pull that up. We're going to find the slither underneath. That's going to be our guide. Pulling straight out. So we put the comb on the head. And we pull straight out from the head. Our guide. Then we cut. And you can see how much weight that builds up on that top, like the wolf cuts. And it just melts through. Right. These two pieces, like I said, are going to be our fringe for the wolf cut. Then this piece here, take our slither. And the thing I love about this section pattern is you look at it, you think, God, that's a big section on this top, this triangle. But what it's doing is we're creating a little bit of sort of over direction and then elevating to create softness. 
So we find our guide, which is there, pulling straight up from the head, nice and blunt. You can see that on camera already. And this mannequin's got a lot of sort of natural curl to it, which is lovely. So we're going to get that again. Nice slice. We're going to go from the head, straight up from the head. And we're just finding our guide. And it builds up all of that weight through there with the fringe. This is my favorite way to put in these fringes. So we're just going to get these two separate to make it a bit easier. Let's just clip that there, clip that there. So we drop them out, taking a little triangle from that front. And then we're going to find where we want to take it to. Just in the bridge of the nose. So that's going to be our shortest part of the fringe. Now what we're going to do, straight down the middle again. But we're going to take a section either side. We'll just find our guide. Pulling forward. So you can see like that. So if you look at that angle there from the hair and that comb, we have a 45 degree angle in there. Fingers backwards, we have a 45 degree angle that way. So pull out like that. And then just cut straight back. So look from the front now, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna over direct and elevate these remaining pieces. So our guide, and then with this section that we just pulled in, we're going to push into that middle, to that nose. Same finger angle, cutting back. And just get a bit of the guide again, because then we're going to do this side. There's our guide. And then with this, we're going to pull it up to that middle. We find our guide. Make sure we've got our, fit, our angles correct. And we're cutting. And this is going to give us perfect symmetry. So we look at how that fringe just opens up, still heavy, opens up through there, perfect symmetry on that fringe. And then you've got all of this fullness and texture through there. Now with the length, what we're going to do, because we want this to be a shorter walk up, we've already put in all the shape, all the texture, What we want to do is we still want that front to be that bit shorter. So if we come down to the neck line of the mannequin and then just start to point cut that in through there, that's where I was, just following through and just point cutting. Again, using the comb as a, a level, grabbing that guide, and just cutting inside out, not changing body position at all. There we go. So it's giving us that nice bob length. Shorter at the front through here. We've got a lot of fullness through that back. And then all of that texture that's all built in through there. So all that is left 
is to dry. So there we go guys, that is a shorter wolf coat. You've asked in the comments, here it is. Uh, a lot more texture and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it. And if you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, thumbs up, comments down below, let me know what you think about it. And I'll see you on the next video.